Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. That's why you elect leaders in public office. You elect leaders to do work like this. You don't elect leaders to bite you. No. Everybody's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, guys, come on. Yes. I want you to know how important this road is. Next. Let me allow me to present my way, not your way. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, I want to emphasize the importance of education. Education is the best investment. And this country will invest in your education. Education is the best equalizer. A child from a rich family a child from an average family, a child from a poor family, they come to Mulungushi, they go to Nkrumah, they are the same. No difference. Education is the best inheritance. That's my message. And your government will invest in education, will invest in you. It does not matter who your father, your mother is. This government sees you as a child of Zambia and will invest in your skills development. After all, the economy needs your skills, isn't it? Engineering skills, medical skills, teaching skills, agriculture, and all those other faculties that I've not mentioned. So now, yes, business. Business skills. Guys, Banono, let's finish. Agasubakaya. I promise you that I'll come back. But let me share a few things with you. In order to deliver the best education and quality, which we want, which you want, we will continue investing in education, infrastructure, and facilities. I'm aware of the challenges, some at least. Let me just reflect a bit. When we were as graduates of UNSA ourselves and we, we went to do our masters in Europe or PhD, we were the best students. The records are there. We want you to be the best students. For you to be the best students, your government will continue investing in infrastructure, in lecturing staff, teaching staff, support staff, in your accommodation, in your facilities, laboratories, including the need for you to have electricity, very important, so you can study. We understand that, and we are with you, to, we are 100% together, 100% together. Electricity is important, very, very important. We know the challenges that ZESCO is facing, the drought has exacerbated not just the food issues, but also energy issues. But we are working on alternatives such as solar. There's no reason why you can't have power, at least solar power, so you can study. So we are with you. You can tick that box. Let's work together to get that issue dealt with together with others. We are very proud that when we came into office, we reintroduce meal allowances. Yeah. 
someone had taken away meal allowances. When we came in office, we reintroduced meal allowances. Are you not happy that you have meal allowances? Before, meal allowances were only for University of Zambia, Copa Belt University. Now, we have expanded meal allowances to all public universities in this country. We know that we still have a lot of work to do. We know that more students need to come on board. We are also aware more students need support from the government, like I got support myself through a government bursary, and we'll be working to continually increase the bursaries and the loan schemes put together. That is our obligation. That's why you put us in office, colleagues, my fellow monks, my fellow momas. That is our job. What else? Your accommodation is not enough. Your accommodation is not enough. And we'll work together with your union leaders here and Kuruma, work together with the university leadership management to continually improve the facilities for accommodation and other infrastructure. We also want to ensure that you have better health facilities when you are here. A student must get treated when they are ill. A lecturer must get treated when they are ill. We have to continue working on all these areas together. What I want to ask for is that my team from State House is here, Provincial Minister's team is here, and the district is here. We need your representatives to do what I call a checklist of things that are bothering you here. I want a checklist of things that are bothering you here that are constraining your education. We list those, then we start working on them together with yourselves. That's what we are looking for. I hope you have heard my message. So, Kuruma, Mulungushi, union leaders, get a checklist from students. Don't write to your own list. Consult the students. What are the students saying they need in order to improve the learning and teaching environment? And then we'll work together to deliver those. That is what I am saying. And when we get your list, Hopefully we can get your list by Friday or latest before the end of next week. Then we start working on that list together. We work in an organized way. I know students are intellectuals. You are organized. You are smart. So let's work as a team of smart people. We know we have a resource challenge. But we we'll look at your priorities. What is priority one, two, three, four, five? We continue, we start from there and continue working on the rest. That is our commitment to you. And having said that, I want to acknowledge your sacrifices. How? First, by voting for us. Because without voting for us, we would have never been in office. Secondly, we want to acknowledge your patience as we were working on the debt restructuring, as we are reconstructing the economy, as we are bringing law and order to take out fights in the bus stops, in the markets, on the roads. You have been patient. We appreciate your patience. The hunger situation, the drought situation, all of those issues, you are patient. We will work with you and we we'll always welcome your ideas, your suggestions on how we can run the country better because you have some of the solutions here. We thank you for that patience. We thank you for your sacrifices. But let me render advice to you 
from experience. There is time for everything. There is time for? There is time for? When you are studying at a university like this, focus on your studies. Don't focus on absentee landlords. Focus on your studies. I've already talked about I'm a light boy. <laughs> So, let's focus on studies. Let's focus on our studies. Other things will wait. Don't rush into marriage now. Focus on your studies. Pass well, then you, be, you may be the next doctor, super doctor. You may be the next engineer who is supervising that project. Are there third, fourth year students here? Yeah. Engineering students, how, how many years is your course? Five years? Five years? Are there fifth year students here? Some of you may end up being site engineers here. So focus on studies, complete your studies. We will do our best to support you. We also are grateful to God for keeping us alive. And I want to thank you for your patience. I've heard the things you are saying. Please put them on paper so that we can look at them one by one. Wangu wangu, wangu tacherwa, kare kare, we work on them. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. You must remember that we love you so much. We were students like you. We know the problems of a student. We are one of some of you. I'm one of you. We are some of you. So your feelings are our feelings. Let's work together to help students to get their best, to help the country to grow the economy, jobs, business opportunities. Chancellor, I hope your business course is here. I want to encourage everybody, don't just stay in class to work for somebody. You must also plan to work for yourself. I started working for myself when I was 27 years old. I want you to be a better HH in your time. God bless you all. God bless Mulungushi. God bless Kuruma. God bless Zambia. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpundu. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.